<laughs> Hello, baddies. Hello, baddies. Hey, baddies. All right, so interesting starts to the video. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different, just on a whim. Normally behind me is that cherry blossom kind of backdrop because it reminds me of Bath and Body Works because they have the Japanese cherry blossom, which, fun fact, the body shop carried years ago. They may still carry it, but I always feel like Bath and Body Works copied it off of the body shop, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I don't have the backdrop in front of me just because I wanted to show you something different. It's like behind the curtain. So over there is where I film sometimes, right? That's, you see that lamp. That's the candle lamp from Yankee Candle right there. I love that. There's two of them, one on each side of the bed. That's the purple thing that I, that's the purple thing that I painted. I got it from a thrift shop. It used to be like a chicken coop and it's got three different bunks and it's for storage. So there's actually chicken wire and then behind the chicken wire is black tissue paper, which hides what's inside of that thing. Painted it, varnished it, sanded it first. Um, behind me is this other crafty project. That's another lamp from Yankee Candle. You will remember that it used to be gray. So that used to be gray and the top part was silver. I spray painted it with two different spray paints, like I'm Harley Quinn. And one spray paint was like pink. So you'll see that it's like a pinkish color, but different other colors coming through. And the top one is actually, see it was extra, extra shiny. It's pink glitter spray paint. Whoa, ah. I still have that Thor theme from Ragnarok. Anyway, and then on this side, there's a Britney Spears CD. It's a gold CD. See the gold CD right there? Britney Spears, and then that's the thing from Oops, I Did It Again. Up on top, you see, what do you see there? You see a Disney bag and a gift. That gift's been there forever. I have to give that gift to, to the intended recipient at some point. But anyway, I digress. And then behind me is a jar. See that jar? That's the change jar. It used to be a water bottle, but it's glass. So I, re I didn't really repurpose it, it's still a water bottle, but I just, when I come in from being outside uh, for like the X many years now, just throw change in there. And once in a while, I take the change out, I roll it up, have a little fiesta on the floor, and then I bring the change to the bank and I've got money. So right now I have a Bath and Body Works haul. But uh So this haul was an interesting story. I will tell you the interesting story as we go along. Some of the stuff was on sale, some of the stuff was not. I will explain that all again as we go along. First thing I picked up, some of these items were the last items in the store that existed because I guess of sale. And I just love the name. I didn't even smell it. I love the name, I love the picture, I loved everything. It's Mano. If you got that reference right now, type it in the box below. I'll tell you what it means in a second. It's Mano. Uh, it's frosted biscotti or biscot as Italians say. That's how I grew up saying biscot. Frosted Biscotte, gentle foaming hand soap with essential oils. It's got a little fox. It's got a foxy, frosted bis foxy. It's got a fox on it, and the fox is dipping its or his or her or their biscotte inside of a coffee or a latte or a hot chocolate. So, are there scent notes on here? I don't think there are. Oh, yep. Citrus frosting, maple, sugar, and warm cookies. Why citrus frosting on a biscuit? Oh, I guess you could have it. Anyway. Uh, I could smell the cookies for 100%. It smells like sugar cookies, but there's a strong orange scent. Ooh. You know what? Even if I smelled it in the store, I probably still would have purchased it because it was 75% off. It was the last one they had. I think it was seven, seven fifty. dollars It was a dollar and change, but it has a really strong orange scent. It's like, it's like a cookie fighting an orange in your lunchbox. It's like, pretend you had a cookie and an orange along with everything else, but everything else was sealed in saran wrap because they're allegedly saran wrap and Ziploc bags don't have like the scent can escape. Remember those commercials where the scent can escape? Like you, no, you're not putting me with raw meat inside of a Ziploc bag and saying, here you go, here's 50 bucks from this commercial as the tiger is like, okay, great, the meat is safe, but what do I smell like? Um, probably frosted biscotti. Uh, so it's like that. It's like being in a lunchbox with an orange and a cookie and the orange, you know, when you squirt the orange, how that's all you smell is orange. It's like the cookie doesn't stand a chance. So if you don't already have frosted biscotti, frosted biscotti, frosted biscotti, don't buy it. Well, buy it if you like the label. How about that? Because it doesn't really smell like biscotti. It smells like oranges and a cookie. 
So anyway, I'm excited to use it. I like the color. The color scheme goes with my bathroom. I love a good blue. This is like blue adjacent. It's like a form of blue. Maybe it's teal. So, oh, by the way, Mano, it's Mano. That's from the craft. I saw the craft and I saw the craft of the new version. The new version was okay. It was actually, it was pretty okay, but it was like a B movie. So also, oh, I forgot to show you this other thing. You know what? You can go back into my old videos and you'll find it. So I picked up this. It was the last one there. It's an ornament. And this ornament is a Bath and Body Works ornament. I have the original from last year, which was not for sale. The original, it's in one of my older videos. It had to be around this time. So it's about 12 months old, the video. And it looks just like this. It's the same size, but it's not the same. It was not for sale. It was not this glassy material. It was more of a plastic, but a hard plastic. Same exact shape, same everything. So the nice thing about that was that I intended to treasure that forever. This one here is just another one. Maybe I could have a yearly version. This was 20 bucks, it was 19.95, but it was 75% off. So it just made me happy. And I thought, you know what? I wanted it. I thought it was nice. I commented upon it and wound up here. So I put that down. I think that it was because of that video that I posted 12 months ago. Now this is me being crazy. I think that it was because of that and how much I loved it that they came out with that this year, where they came out with a version for sale. And by the way, at first glance, if you say $20 for an ornament, that's a lot. Just remember, Bath & Body Works is not an ornament company. Like they don't know how to process these at such a rate that they're incredibly cheap. They probably had to pay someone else to do them and pay them their fees and whatnot. So it's not like this is just another lotion or body wash. No, this is a completely different entity for them. So if you're thinking that's highway robbery, 20 bucks, and it also says 2020 on it. So hopefully it is an annual thing. It's not highway robbery. Also, what is highway robbery? Does someone steal roads? I digress. Um, it's just, it's the cost of doing business. They had to, but I only paid $5 for it. So I'm happy. What I, what was full price you ask? I had to get it, it's blue, but it's the nicest form of blue. This is the nicest and it's the softest, the fluffiest. As much as I love other companies as well, and I love, um, say, the body shop stuff, you cannot beat their bath puffs. And they're $3.95 each, you can't beat them. They're the best bath puffs on earth. They make everything lather. The body shops are a little bit more coarse and they're good at scrubbing, but not at making the bubbles. If you want bubbles, you need a couple of them. So yes, I got two because I have like the two shower nozzles. Everybody here, well, mo actually no. Some people only have one shower. It does the thing with the, it does the thing with the thing uh, where it goes from hot to cold. What kind do you have? Do you have that hot to cold one that it's just like a lever or do you have two set? I've got two separate ones. So I want to hang one on each, like the hot and the cold or the cold and the hot. So it's nice, flexible rubber bandy type material, but thick. And it says Bath and Body Works across it. Um, it's like printed on it. So $3.95, $3.95. They were not buy three, get two free. They were not buy anything, get anything free. It was just full price, which is a rarity. But so now I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to, it's not going to be random, actually. Here's the story of a lovely lady. So here's what happened with this haul, with this strange and wild haul. Some of these items are going to be 75% off. Some of them are going to be just oddly discounted at $4.95. Some are going to be full price. It's going to be all over the place. Um, some of them are going to buy, buy, th buy three, get two free. I went shopping with a friend who was like, you always talk about all these places. You always talk about Bath and Body Works and the Body Shop and Lush and blah, blah, blah. I want to, like, can we just go shopping? Can we just, can you just take me safely, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. Sure. Um, they only, I know Bath and Body Works like the back of my hand. You have to sanitize your hands before you go in. You have to keep your mask on above your nose at all times, on your nose, on your face at all times, not taking it down to smell stuff. Don't try everything on. No. So like, and they only have a certain amount of people. Otherwise you're outside waiting online, waiting in line on the street. So I'm like, it's pretty safe, you know, like I'm fine. Let's go. So we went, we looked around. What is it that you normally like? What, what interests you with this, with that, with the other? So I'm picking out stuff, I'm holding on to my ornament, I'm holding on to my biscotte. This was the last thing that I saw at the, by the registers, by the way. So my friend's like, what do you think smells interesting? So I'm picking out these different things. What would you buy? I'd buy this if it were cheaper. This is full price, I love the packaging. I don't care what this smells like, I'd buy that. But I'm a sale shopper, so. Um, and the person's like, I like your recommendations. And they're just like taking the things, putting them in the basket, okay. Um, so 
these are the things, but what happened was at the end of it, person goes, I just actually wanted these couple of things, but I, I don't know, happy new year, and gave me everything else as just a happy new year gift. And I was like, what? So this is all a gift and I was floored and happy and amazed. And so when you see like a couple of items that I'm like, I would, uh, so some of them are 4 dollars I remember which are which, because I remember which ones I would normally buy, which ones I didn't. So I'm just gonna share with you along as that goes. This is not one of them that I remember which is which. Pink cashmere. The reason why I picked, I think this was four ninety five. dollars There was a table of 75% off, a table of four ninety five, dollars and then there was stuff along the walls that was regular price. We'll buy three, get two free. Pink cashmere. This I picked up, sent on, well, I didn't pick it up, I pointed it out. Sent on sniffed because of the Prince song. So I like the packaging on that. It's cute, it's pink, it's the name, Pink Cashmere. It reminds me of a song by Prince. It, the lyrics were, I'm gonna wrap you in a coat of pink cashmere. It's a rare song, it wasn't a hit. It smells soft and slightly floral. It says pink jasmine petals, creamy sandalwood, white amber, cashmere musk. It's just a soft, it's a soft scent. It's not harsh, it's not stinging, it's not tangy, it's not bitter, it's just a soft, it's a soft, lovely scent. It's not cloying, it's not overpowering. If you just want a soft scent, but something that is not unscented, then this is for you. What did I do here? Okay, I feel like it's a little bit wiggly. Okay, so. I think it was $4.95 body wash. It says Shea and vitamin E. So it should be moisturizing. Also picked up, this was 75% off. Um, Golden Sunflower. This I had no comment upon. I didn't say anything about. Uh, they put it in their basket because they know my favorite flower of all time is a sunflower. Because they're nice, they're overly large, they're gigantic, they're happy. They're kind of like do 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 just laying about like, it's the happiest, like you find me a happier flower than a sunflower. It's just, have you ever seen a sad sunflower? No, they're just always like, so anyway. I would love to say that it smells like sunflowers, but that's a lie. Do you know why? Sunflowers don't have a scent. As someone who loves sunflowers, I always go in to smell them. You never, ever, ever will smell a sunflower. It's a fact. Sunflowers don't have a scent. Um, I should have Googled before this video, but you can feel free to Google right now. Do sunflowers have a scent or what do sunflowers smell like? Nothing. So when this says golden sunflower, I don't know why it says golden sunflower. I think it's in our minds what we imagine should smell like. And maybe it's because of maybe baby's breath or by that I mean the flower, not like a little baby going oh. um, So yeah. Maybe it's what we imagine the, the golden sunflower to smell like. So this says it is scented with sunflower petals, which is irrelevant in terms of scent. Orange flower, fresh vanilla. So it's basically whatever they say that sunflower petals should smell like in their fragrance laboratory. I could pick up hints of the orange, it's like orange rind. It's not orange, it's not that orange from the biscot, it's orange rind, it's that. It's the outer part of the orange. And vanilla's in everything, so I don't even wanna say like, oh, it's a little vanilla. No, vanilla's in everything, literally, they put a vanilla in everything. And that's fine, it's fine. Shower gel, shea and vitamin E, made with sunflower seed oil. So maybe that's why they call it golden sunflower, is because of the, oh, I got something in my eye. How did that happen? I don't know, okay. So let's carry on with the show. I should just pull randomly. Ooh, ooh, I did. Dahlia. This I would never have purchased on my own, nor would I have actually recommended to purchase because I know this was full price. So it was $13.50, but it was buy three, gets two free. So amortize that and see what it comes out to. Dahlia by Bath & Body Works, aloe and vitamin E, shower gel made with essential oils. Uh, la, da, da. Velvet Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, whipped tonka bean. These are a few of my favorite things. Like seriously, pear, musk, tonka bean, and dahlia petals? Primarily pear. 
it's primarily pear, but it's different than pear. So it must be a combination of the musk and tonka bean and petals. If I could rename this to be blunt, if Bath & Body Works had a very like straightforward fragrance line, this would be called Perfumed Pear. It smells like someone took pear and made a perfume out of it. Perfumed Pear. And the packaging is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm checking to see. Oh, there are two. I knew it. I made, I was such like, I looked at this twice. That's why there's probably two. I looked at this twice in the store because it's like, I just love the packaging of it. It's, can you tell how radiant this is? It's full on. It's a radiant package. So, anyway. So those two are there. Ugh. Excited about that. This just makes me happy. If you saw my video recently, my online version of the 75% off sale, uh, no, my online version of the semi-annual sale, I pick up a box of candles of In the Stars. One of my favorite scents, I pointed this out and I was like, In the Stars is amazing. I love that scent. Why is the price sticker on the right hand side of this? That's weird. It's a weird place for the sticker. I wonder why. I don't know. Anyway, In the Stars Shea and Vitamin E again. It says, Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugared Tangella, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. That, that scent is to die for. I don't know how many of this are in my bag, but I, this puts a smile on my face. It just, it's odd because I feel like it's a, it's, it's a high school prom theme in the stars, under the water, like to the moon, Alice. So I just, if you have not smelled in the stars, like I'm, like I'm Sarah Jessica Parker Carey, if you have not smelled in the stars, I love love. Um, that's such a good episode. Oh, don't you miss Sex in the City? There's a rumor it's coming back to HBO, but without Kim Cattrall, obviously. Next one is actually also a very Sarah Jessica Parker, Carrie Bradshaw type scent into the night. I'm surprised they still carry this because I think they discontinued, didn't they discontinue that candle? I don't know, but these are like, to me, these are the stars in the stars and into the night. These are the like, these should be cult favorites, which they should never, these are the Smoky Poppy of Bath and Body Works. They should never discontinue them. Like Smoky Poppy got discontinued. Ugh. It smells like the best of the Great Gatsby era. It is raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, mocha musk. Think about those, that's a knockout in my book. Raspberry, amber, rose, patchouli, musk. Sounds like the best group that you would ever want to be in. Sounds like a, like a pop, like a pop music group. We are into the night. Oh, that's a good, that would be great. Hello, baddies. Who out there wants to be in a, in, a, in a group, in a music group? Let's be into the night. We could take, who wants to be raspberry? Who wants to be amber? Velvety rose? Patchouli? How about mocha musk? Whew, so good. So good. Ugh. And this, oh, my favorite. Actually, my, like, my favorite. I remembered that this was here. And they might be my favorites in terms of things that I wanted to smell that I haven't smelled. Confetti Daydream. This was either 75% off or $4.95. I don't remember which, but it was totally on sale. They were the last ones in the store, in the whole store. Not a single one left of any of these after this. So Confetti Daydream Shower Gel, Raspberries, Pear, and Iris. I did not smell it. I just looked at it, and this is what I said to my friend. I said, and you could name anything confetti. Anything confetti. I will buy it. That's it. It's like cotton candy. Name it cotton candy. Put, put cotton candy in the description. Oh, it smells like pear again, but it smells like raspberry pear. This is, it smells like raspberry pear. If there's, there's iris in here, I don't smell it. But it smells like raspberries and pears in a... If you were to call this blue cotton candy, I would believe it too. It smells like raspberries and pears just in a, in a, in a bowl together. 
And there's two more things in here. You never see me picking up lotions because this wasn't for me. But what I had said was, you put the name confetti on anything, I will buy it. There were two of these left. Person put both of these in the bag and I got both. Again, $4.95 or 75% off. Not exactly sure, but it was $14.50 at retail. It's, it's just, I'm going to have to try one of these right now here for you in our form. The baddies, court. 24 hour moisture. This again should say raspberries, pear, and blue iris. Oh my. Let's try it out. Ready? Okay. How funky is your chicken? Anybody know what that's from? Anybody remember, remember the movie that that's from? How funky is your chicken? Wow. Wow. Whoa. No taste. <sighs> Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell like a, like a cheap lotion or a cheap perfume or a non-name brand thing. It just smells tame. It's sweet, but tame. It's not overpowering or annoying. I'm happy about that. I'm super happy about that. And not for nothing else. You know what my shower is going to look like with, with these beautiful items in the bathroom? Amazing. Ugh. I know, I try, I was just having a conversation with a friend about buying a pot for a plant. And um, it was a whole thing about, should I go to Home Depot? Where do I go for it? Go to a small business, shop small business. And I, I do, I try where I can. And it technically wasn't really my purchase because I didn't purchase, it was helping a friend purchase. And I feel like small business, yes. You, and technically, this is all for the bath, and the bath is pretty small. So it's small business, I don't know. I'm trying to rationalize, but, I, but this is all a gift. So I have to say thank you, so thank you, because this is a wonderful gift. Ugh, they smell like plastic. Um, you'd think they smell like the store. My hands smell good. By the way, the reason why I tested my hands, why I licked them, was because uh, the body shop puts a bitterant in their products when they smell like food. And this smells sweet, so I, Part of me was thinking, oh gosh, it's gonna have a bitterant. Bath and Body Works really doesn't put any kind of bitterance in their, in their lotions, which is great. Uh, the Body Shop does it because I, someone at the Body Shop must have one back in the day had a baby and that baby or child must have been like, ooh, it smells like bananas <laughs> and eating all the lo lotion. Like, I don't know, thought it was baby food. But yeah, and that ruined the Body Shop's sweet smelling products for the rest of us for eternity because gosh forbid, gosh forbid that you put a lotion on and then go to eat french fries. Like you get that bitter into your mouth and it's like bad apple for a dog. Anyone have a dog and you have to train the dog and you spray bad apple on all the wires and all the things you don't want the dog to eat and the dog goes to, to eat it and they're like, Ugh. that's what the body shop does with their body butters. Like don't try to eat with your fingers after putting on that lotion. Ugh. So. I'm happy that Bath and Body Works does not do that. Um, and again, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining here in our new forum without the thing behind us. You'll see it again in a, in a video. Let me know if you like it with the thing, with the cherry blossoms or without. Um, it just depends. You hear the sounds of the city outside. I'm going to go and get my flower popped today, I believe, to repot Katie. Um, so wish me luck. I will see you all soon. If you want to see more, by all means, subscribe. If you want to rate, you can do it this way or this way. Hopefully more this way. If you enjoy the video, by all means, let another convert a new baddie. Send someone my way. I will see you all soon. And um, shop responsibly. Don't spend more than you have. Um, use your coupons. If you're shopping online, use Rakuten. The link is down below in the description box. And I will see you soon. XOXOXO to the sounds of the city. And <laughs> stay safe. Bye.